Strawberry infused water. All right. Hey, Trevor. Eric. Shop with bugs. Hello. Hey, it's working. Oh. Happy birthday, Eric. Sir tips a lot. Sir tips a lot. Right about there. Yeah. Cool. Sir tips a lot. <laughs> Make it obvious. Oh. Jen over here with the first tip of the night. Make it obvious. Make it obvious. <laughs> Make it so obvious. <laughs> All right. Doctor, can you cure my disaster? Wi-Fi network that could get on that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's the free Wi-Fi that I got hooked up to. But uh, 
Yeah. Another option is to forego the computer and just get my phone out and have it. But that, I don't know if I can plug that in because the, the, the plug is all the way in the back. So. <laughs> but hi guys. I'm, I'm broadcasting in three places right now. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, and my Periscope feed, which is also uh, Twitter. So, I am, yes, exactly, four places at once. Yeah, right? It's almost like I'm a traveler of some sort. Oh, wait, I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So if you guys have any song requests, um, I've got a lot of original music that I'll probably play tonight, but I've also got a bunch of covers too. I'll be playing for a while, so suggestions are always welcome, including you guys online, because I can read your comments over here. So, and uh, if something stops working, Trevor, because he's good like that. <laughs> oh yeah. Good one. Yeah. I feel like this one needs a little extra reverb. Yeah. What do you large hall? Sorry. 
So Jen, I know there's one that you have to hear um, because you haven't heard it yet. And you're gonna like it. Um, I mentioned, I don't know if some of you might have seen my Facebook event for this page, for this page, for this event, for, for what's happening right now. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes um, I can't talk right. I blame my dad for whatever reason, just because he's right there. Yeah. Say, say hi, Dad. <laughs> That's my dad. And the reason that I'm here playing tonight is because of my dad's girlfriend, who I basically, it was my fault that they met in the first place. Ashley, will you raise your hand? She's also another singer-songwriter. She's in a duo called With a Word. With a Word. Gotta get that H in there. Whip. Cool whip. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I've been recently writing a bunch of songs uh, from the perspective of the villains in fairy tales. Um, I've been calling calling them my uh, fairy tale conspiracy theories because I've been changing these stories just a little bit. But to me, they all make sense the way that I've changed them. So this one that I'm about to do is called That Voice. And uh, it's from the perspective of the sea witch, Ursula, as you might know her, who was trying to save the prince's life from the evil siren. Because I'm pretty sure the Little Mermaid was a siren. And how would you go about saving somebody's life from a siren? You take away their voice, right? Isn't that exactly what she did?
Thank you. I've had this weird cold for like two weeks at least now. <coughs> and like, you ever like blow your nose so much that your nose gets sore? And like, yeah. So now it's like sort of hitting my nose on the microphone. I'm like, ow, that kind of hurts. Hold it again. No, okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I apologize to online people about the lag. So um, for those of you who uh, know know me and have seen me and know, you know, have been following my music career at all, um, probably know that I do quite a bit of live broadcasting. Whenever I'm playing a show, I'm usually live broadcasting uh, some way, some form, somehow. Uh, right now, I'm live in technically four places if you count here, hello, with you guys. Um, I'm on my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, and my Periscope feed, which is also my Twitter feed. So if y'all are on any of those, um, my username for everything is Aubryn Music. And uh, if you need to know how to spell my name, my dad's right over there. He's got cards and CDs, and uh, <coughs> CDs are by donation. So you can pay whatever you want for them. Cool deal. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna do something a little bit more upbeat. Not happy, but upbeat, because I don't have a whole lot of happy songs. They just, if you, if you don't pay attention to the lyrics, they sound happy. So, you know. I went through a whole thing where I wrote a bunch of songs inspired by different episodes of The Twilight Zone. A little bit of a nerd. I don't know if you can tell already. Oh, I've got plenty more, Jen. I saw your comment. <laughs> okay, so this one was inspired by an episode of the Twilight Zone. Yeah, that one. Uh, the episode was called Purple Testament. And uh, get it. And if you like it, auburnmusic.com as well as my band camp. And I tell you a secret about four brain men. Forty-four, I thought you were what I knew it would be. Then I could see it on their faces a shining light. And heaven know up from below and mark them all to die. I let them leave without a Would you wanna know? 
that one with Kat Hopkins, who now goes by Taylor Hopkins for her music. is amazing. Really. <laughs> no, from your phone. Oh, of course. Broadcast from your phone when you get the opportunity you're popping up the break. Switch over. Drop okay. I'll, I'll switch over during the break. Okay. All right. I suppose maybe I should be charging my phone if I'm going to be using it to broadcast in a bit since I can't charge it when I'm broadcasting. Dad, could you help? My phone is in my jacket, and I think my phone cable is either in one, that bag or that bag. It's a gray cable. Yeah. <laughs> no, no phone? Maybe I must have put it down somewhere. Scary. Well, it's here somewhere. I probably put it on the table. Which table? That's probably it. Yep. <laughs> there it is. I assumed it was Ashley's phone being next to it the whole time. It's yep, good. That would be mine. And yep, that's the gray. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Yeah, it's a long cable. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you. There should be an extra one open. Not this one over there. Oh, there is? <laughs> cool. All right. Right on. So I'm going to play another one of my fairy tale villain songs. This is the first one that I wrote because I knew that I wanted to do this whole series of songs from this perfect perspective of the villains. Um, I wrote this a few months ago. Heck, maybe. I don't even know how long ago now. Time just moves so fast, it's ridiculous. Oh. I, I have a friend who I've known from middle school here today, and uh, wow. Have, I, I don't think I've seen you since high school. Yeah, no. So this song is called Fairest in the Land. And uh, it's from the perspective of the evil queen in Snow White. I actually have two Snow White songs. She wasn't bright. She took a bite. Oh no, hold on, that's the other one. Okay, <laughs> sorry. They, they start out kind of similarly, so.
love it. He's awesome. <laughs> I like it when, when toddlers are like, yeah! <laughs> oh. It's a mover. Mm -hmm. Does not stand still, that one. <laughs> it's like my niece. My niece is two and a half. She does not sit still <laughs> for anything. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do you. I'm going to do some uh, Melissa Etheridge, I think. This is going to be mostly, I'm going to do mostly original music with some covers thrown in. That's how I like to do it. Because in Nashville, I have to do mostly covers. And then my some original music.
goodness. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna do... Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Because I have a... kind of a super cool announcement that I'm about to make as soon as I know the exact launch date or air date. Um, <clears throat> I have a song that uh, is going to be in a TV show on ABC in January. Uh, yeah, I've done the paperwork for it, so I'm like, all right, it's like pretty much, <laughs> I mean, I did the paperwork, so that, that means something, right? <laughs> And uh, it's going to be in, in a show called Stump Town on ABC. If you haven't watched it and you like crime shows, watch it. I like it a lot. It's awesome. It's it, it, uh, it's based off of a uh, <laughs> graphic novel of the same name, and it's based in Portland, Oregon. And uh, this next song is going to be the one that's going to be in the show. So yay! This song's called Run Baby Run. She was a high class daughter who was walking with a hot girl. Had in the girl in town, she died. Ready on Romeo. Wanting her to settle down. She won't give the heart to anyone. She'd rather run baby. songs I'm gonna a quick break <coughs> and uh, yeah let's see so I, I I'm gonna play the this one <coughs> because I, I feel like this is kind of a sequel to the song I just played I feel like like the the woman in the first song really the, the young woman in the first song. She like faked her own, in, in the bridge, if, uh, if you heard the lyrics, she faked her fate so, so they won't come looking when she's gone. So basically I had her fake her own death. And uh, 
run away in that first song. And so I feel like she might have uh, ended up kind of living a life of crime. And uh, this song's called Lady About Town. And uh, I feel like she she probably turned into this con woman character from this song. So it's funny because this next song is on my first album, and that last song is on my second album. <laughs> so a little out of order, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> That's true. Star Wars did it, so I can too. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said you were going to be here, so. Yay! It's that same guy. So, uh, okay. That's really cool that you showed up. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So, he found me on Periscope and showed up to my gig today. Ago. Yeah. Awesome. And I wasn't following her for like a year. Never met her. I just found out she's coming to Phoenix. 
Yeah. There I am. Here I am. You're the <laughs> third person I've met on Thursday. Do you know Katie Ferrara? Yeah. Met her. Katie Ferrara? Yeah, she's Actually, awesome. She was, I got her some gigs out here. Really? That's awesome. Very cool. Oh, wow. Right on. <laughs> some, some, yeah. <laughs> this this late summer, right? Somewhere around there. Cool. You met her? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we don't know each other that well, but we've yeah. so. And who was the other one that you met? Uh, I met her. I don't know, her friend who came out here with her. Mm. Uh, and they played Oh, cool. That's awesome. Wait, they they play a show. In a grocery store. Yes. There's this little Why haven't I never done that? <laughs> hey, you look into it. You never know. Yeah. Uh, Dang. This little coffee house area <laughs> in the one over on Scottsdale Road. Mm hmm That it's like its own little thing, and then there's a table and everything else, and they play right there. That's kind of cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, it was great. Why not? That's the first time I met both of them, actually. Right on. Well, welcome. So glad you're here. That's awesome. Yes. I'm gonna do one more song, take a short break, and I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> so this song is called Nothing Civil. It's off my first album, which you can only get online right now because I ran out of physical copies. But uh, there was a whole huge thing with my first album. Uh, I got a thousand CDs printed up without the title track. Yeah. Yeah. That was a nightmare. Um, thankfully, uh, they, they gave me a thousand of just the CDs at cost, and my former boss was like, hey, let me take care of that for you. I'm like, what? Thank you. Holy moly. So uh, it worked out. But I had to like literally cut the plastic on just about a thousand CDs and then take the CDs out and put the new ones in. And so I've got hundreds of CDs for my first record without the title track on them still. Yeah. So I, I have a couple of ideas of what to do with them. <laughs> Besides just selling them as my Cure My Disaster CDs, because that's the song that ended up being first on the CD because the title track wasn't there, which I thought was actually really appropriate. So, it's my, it's my disaster album. <laughs> but this is a, it's called Nothing Civil.